Okay, so this is the automatic data logger. Two screws come off. Put the power connector in. Screw the two loose caps together. And then screw it on. And that's on now. So I've turned the magnetometer on and now it just needs to stand for about 15 minutes in a quiet area um, to settle down before we calibrate it. Okay, so we've set up our, or set down our machine in a, a quiet area where the nanotesla is not changing much. So that will now be our control point, so our market. And now we need to calibrate the machine. Do the east-west alignment. So I just take this dial off here. So if we're facing east at the moment, it's reading about plus one, plus two nanotesla. We face west, it's about minus six. So I just need to change the dial. Minus five. So that's now calibrated on the east-west. We put the dial back on. And we now calibrate it on the north-south. Plus 27, minus 30. So we take the dial off. So minus two, minus 1.9, minus... so that's quite easy, that one. The last direction we have to calibrate it in is the vertical. This is a little bit more tricky. We have to use the stylus here and this little hole here. So at the moment it's minus 25, oh sorry, plus 25. That's minus 20. Minus 15, 16. So that should now be cali calibrated. We press zero and it beeps four times. It should beep once if it's calibrated. So we're now calibrated and we're ready to start our survey by pressing enable log. Set out your geophysics area. Do this by separating the area into 20 by 20 meter squares. Use Pythagoras' theorem to ensure they are perfect. Mark the corners of each square clearly. These can be recorded using GPS. To begin surveying your first square, lay out a 20 meter tape measure along the left hand side. And then another on the opposite. Everyone involved in the survey should be aware of which side of the square is the left side. This is the starting side for the survey. The zero point of the tape on the left side of the square counts as the top left corner of the survey area. Amongst your equipment, you should have a washing line or tape measure with meters marked clearly along it. Lay this across your square, joining the left and right tapes at the one meter mark on each tape. Now you can begin surveying. Stand at the edge of the top left hand corner of your square with the magnetometer in your right hand. The zero mark should be on your left, with the washing line on your right, crossing the one metre mark. When you walk over the tape into the square, flick the start button. This will make a bleep. It will then beep, steadily, 21 times. Keep walking to the other side of the square, adjusting your speed so every time you pass a metre mark on the tape, the magnetometer beeps. If you have walked at the right pace, the 21st beep should sound when you cross the tape on the other side of the square. Then flick the start stop switch yeah, go, go. to stop. Walk back to the start with the magnetometer. When you reach the start, step over the washing line so it is now on your left hand side and the two meter mark is on your right. Now repeat the walking method, flicking the start stop switch as you cross the tape into your square. 
Walk to the opposite side and when you cross the tape at the other end, click stop. You have now recorded two square meter strips of your first grid square. Move the washing line two meters along so it now crosses the three meter mark on both opposing tapes. Now carry out the same survey method on either side of the washing line. Continue doing this, moving the washing line two meters along each time you have surveyed either side. Ensure you are always walking the same direction when the magnetometer is on. When you finish the end of your first survey square, you should finish with the washing line on your left at 19 meters and the 20 meters mark on your right. The magnetometer should now say log zero drift on the screen. This means you should take it over to your nearby base point and press log. It may record the next few points in the next square accidentally. To correct this, press delete until it says P1 on the screen. You are now ready to repeat the survey method starting at the top left hand corner of your next square. Remember, you should always be walking in the same direction. Do not change direction when starting a new square.